Okay, so first things first, I found a way to make the screen bigger so you haven't got those black borders anymore. Uh, secondly, I already did record this video, but I had to do it on the browser because for some reason I couldn't play today's tournament, the Pearl Beach Challenge, uh, in this version until I played it on the browser and suddenly I could play it. So, I've played this twice already. This is my third time playing it. This is the one you're going to see. Let's go. Alright, so we've played Pearl Beach a couple of times at this point on the channel. So I'm going to talk, try and go through more what I'm thinking with the shots rather than talk about the course itself. So, the open tee shot, I'm taking a bit of a risk here going uh, over the dog leg, but hopefully with full power and some reasonably good timing. Which should be in the fairway. No, we're not. <laughs> We've got a shot at the green, that's the important thing. Alright, so I'm going to hit a 7 iron here. Probably go full. Just make sure it gets on that green. No spin this time. Great timing as per usual. And I think that's going to reach. Okay, so this is going to be uh, either up and down here or we're going to pick our first bogey at the first hole, which wouldn't be ideal really. I'm going to go by 64 degree, 30 yards I think, I should run out, maybe 31 just to be safe, that rough. And it decided it didn't want to roll out on this very fast green that we're playing on, because we are playing on tournament greens again, sorry, championship greens. It's the ones they use in tournaments. Weird. Alright, so it's going to go a little bit left to right. Probably not that much though. I'm probably going to be a bit aggressive with this. And just outside the hole and be a bit aggressive going up this slope. Just short of 15 here. I'm going to say that was lucky because. That was lucky. But we're on to our first birdie opportunity here. Second hole, par 5. And I still didn't talk about the course so much since we've played it already, but here I go for some reason. There I go. That's going to be in the bunker. Most likely. Get down, get down, get down. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. Alright, we've still got a shot at the green here. I think with that wind probably going to be the three iron. And, uh, yeah, just got to make sure it runs up the green and not into the bunker. Full power, of course. There we go. And somehow that still goes towards the bunker, despite if I aimed over here. I don't think you can actually see my mouse, so you didn't see where I pointed them. But I ain't closer to the other bunker. Let's go that way. Alright. I'm thinking I flop this onto the green. I'm going to flop it up here. Uh, so, flop. 64 degree. A little bit of backspin. All the backspin, actually. Put all the backspin on it. And go about there. It's not a bad shot, it's just uh, not ideal at the same time. You've now got a whole putt. Which we did do at the last hole, but um, I feel like this one means more. Going uphill slightly, so I can probably go a bit more aggressive here. And that was lucky, that was very lucky, but we are one to par which is good, so it makes it better than the uh, first two attempts at this that I had. Aim for this bunker here, but the wind take it around over. I cannot get this timing right. I've got to just take back for a change. I might lean forward a bit. We're in the fairway though, it's just um, not what I was trying to do exactly. Where my chair squeaks even more with each video I record. 
Pitching uh, wedge. And over here, the wind should bring it back around. I'm going to go for a little bit of backspin as well. Come on, wind, do what you did last hole. It's probably worked in our favour, that bounce. Alright. We're not going to be making a birdie here, and in fact, it's going to be a tricky putt down the slope as well. And just outside the hole, I'm going to push it to the right a bit if I can, and uh, hope it drops in. And that has not gone as right as I would have liked, but it's rolling, it's rolling, come on, no! How do you stop short on a championship green? We had that! If the green just worked. Oh well, going straight downwind here. Probably not wise to be going for this green, but hey, I think I can get a par out of the hole still if it goes in the bunker, so why not? Pearl Beach Challenge after all, and that looks like a fairly good shot. There's a little kick to the right though, a little kick. And we are nowhere near the green, despite going downwind. Okay. So I'm going to hit my, yep, 64 degree. I'm thinking hit it 45 with no spin, it should run up there, that wind. And the game agrees. I didn't read the green before I took the shot, but we should have a we should make a birdie here hopefully. Hopefully. Again. Always hopefully. Never just assume you're gonna make it because more often than not, you won't. In you go. Good start for the round. Good start. Also good topic of that shot there because this is a very tricky hole, especially with that wind. I'm thinking the flag might be the way to go here. As in, aim at the flag and let the wind bring it round. The wind and the green bring it round. Alright, no heartbeats, but hopefully the wind brings it round enough. It's got her off the back, isn't it? Come back on, come back on! Okay, it has, and it's fairly close, so I'm not sure we didn't get anything there. Oh, that's why, because we rolled outside 10 feet. But that's a very good shot. Uh, another look at a birdie here now. This one I'm just going to run up to the hole, hopefully. 11 feet, slightly uphill. Get in! Oh my god, uh, brilliant. Right, it's par 5 now. It's going to aim close to the cliff edge and hopefully not push it any further right. I did, but not too much, so it should be in the fairway. And, uh, should have a shot at the green too, hopefully, if the ball flies far enough, yep. That's in the garden spot. Probably better to be a little bit short of the green here so you can just get up and down fairly easily, but. Same time, I want to go for it. I really want to go for it. That's horrible. Hopefully, it comes up short now. Hit the upslope, so it's going to kill it a bit. And yeah, that's pretty much what I hoped for. Yeah. Let's say that. So, I'm going to pitch it this time. I've got my. 64 again, I love this 64. Puts me out of so many tough scrapes. I'm actually thinking maybe no spin. Let it run for a change. Or a little bit of spin. And uh, be a little bit aggressive here. To say five at this point. There we go. Got a putt to get the four on the bar. Will be it downhill. I don't like that. Let's do that. Uh, and that. It should be fairly 
straightforward and straight. And forward. Four under par, this is going well. But there's still a few holes to go and this is a this isn't an easy one. 54 degree. I'm gonna try and yeah, just try and land it next to the flag. Backspin. Wind's gonna carry it forward. And I definitely pulled that, but the game's saying I've hit that well. And I really haven't. Because that ain't a tapping, is it? Okay. Just outside the hole, right there. I'm just gonna try and run it in. Six feet, 10%. 60. That is very lucky. That is very lucky. That's four bays in a row. Which I don't think we've done on, on camera yet. So, pretty good. I'm hit my three wood here, just play it safely down the left hand side of the fairway here. Hopefully. Bit too left, but it should hopefully stay in the fairway. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I'll do. We've got a right to left win, which isn't going to help us get to this flag, unfortunately, but I'm thinking. Hit the three iron. We go full backspin, and we aim. Oops, not over there. Just left of the flag. Again, the wind should bring that round nicely. Oh, which I mean, away from the hole. And, uh, yeah, see what happens. Alright, pulled it a bit left as well, which should help us. There we go, we can safely three part for our... for our bogey now. That's what I think we've done both times we've played this hole so far. So that's nice. I need to get just below the hole. That's the aim here, really, isn't it? I'm also thinking if I hit this at 30, 10% of 300. It's gonna, yeah, do that. Hence, hence the three putt. Although we seem to have left the green, so. We're now chipping, but at least we're below the hole. No, we're not. We are playing still. Okay. That's exactly why you need to make so many bays at the start, so you can account for this later on. Alright, so, putting uphill. So 15, 10% of 150. And sit. Sit, sit, sit. I do not know how you play this. I do not know how you play this hole, this green. What are you supposed to do? We're dropping two shots here now, potentially, because of just where this flag is. What is the point? What is the point? Okay, it's going to go a bit more than nine here. Alright, we made a bogey, but honestly at this point I think this is like the best you can walk off this hole with when the hole is on that slope. We're hitting downwind here, this ninth hole. So hopefully this should work. Oh, good. That should help a bit. The further we get down there the better because we've got a tricky approach shot, so keep going. Stay in the fairway, please. Stay in the fairway. And we are down the right hand side, which might help us actually get to this flag a bit easier. A bit more easily. He says optimistically. Best thing we can do here is either stick it in the middle of the green, or maybe if we're going to not hit the green, go just beyond it. Play back to the flag. We can't go in that bunker. Bunker's just 
a no-go on this hole. And that's probably going to be in trouble. Because why not? Yeah, look at that. I pushed it a little bit right on the meter, and uh, that's going to now put us back to two under, I think, if we're lucky. That is a push, and yet that'll probably be fine. Yeah. Look at that. How does that work? <sighs> right. I'm going to chip this, I think. And, uh, oh. This is certainly not ideal, is it? 15 there. It's downhill all the way, but we are going in the rough as well, so I'm going to... Do that, push out to the right a bit if I can. Now it's gone left. And, uh, I really thought it was going to roll out more, but we should be saving our double bogey here, hopefully, holding this putt. And that's uh, a very uh, sad way to end this part, especially if it doesn't go in. Yeah, it's got to be aggressive in this very fast green. Alright, well, that could have been worse. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the second part where we try and make a better job of the bat nine.